So I know you were also boot camping with them recently. Yeah. Well, it's, it's very similar to Rise. Like, they have the Brotherhood. They have the genetic makeup. They have their role players. They have their slayers. These are two championship caliber teams. This is, this is a championship caliber match. This is something we might even see later on in the tournament in champ bracket. So I'm so excited to see it here on Friday in full play. Man, you could not have teamed yeah. that up any better. Championship caliber match between Rise Nation and Ghost Gaming. We've been looking forward to this one all day long. Blaze, Benson, you get the honor of calling the action. Take it away. Could be a championship game. You're absolutely right. Could be winners, maybe even losers. We'll wait Woo. and see. But for now, pool play will suffice. Rise Nation blue, Ghost Gaming red. Kick things off with Drix. One thing I'm, I'm very uh, interested to see on Rise Nation, Powers played a lot of their front spawns during that Columbia. Columbus Invitational, he played a lot of those aggressive sp spots on the front lines. When King came in, Detox and Effects, he's moved to the front as some of their main slayers. When Powers came back, instead of him taking his mantle back in the front, he kind of took those back line positions in the fourth spot and played more of those 1v1 spots. So instead of him being that bunker buster on initials, which he still <laughs> will be on some situations, he's going to be that guy extending those rounds, clutching up those 1v1s, and to keep Riot Nation in the game. Potentially be maybe a better role, but as it stands already, Tripcat domination knocking on the door. However, Ghost will defend the A hill for how long? Well, long enough. Monkeys with a double. One more player could potentially push. It is Drix. Monkeys knows he's going to be there as well, so that's going to slow down the push. Now Tripcap coming in for Ghost Gaming. You blink and you could miss it. Drix has to try and make a play just to contest. Has done so for long enough. And now it's Rise Nation surviving. Woo! Good teamwork over that cover. Also, another thing is, too, with that roster change is that, you know, coming from Mexico City, going into Boston, you want to, uh, you don't want to have to practice as much as, uh, you know, you don't want to switch too many positions yeah. up and make it difficult for yourself coming into this game, uh, this coming into this event board. and having to backtrack all the way back to, to the Columbus Invitational. If you got a second or not, you want to kind of make progress off all the lessons that you learned in Mexico City. Don't want to go back to square one just yet. But as you see, Rise Nation stand alive. They were on the brink of a domination, but came back fighting. And now they have B control in their home hill control as well. Looking to lock down mid map and close, and Detox gets it done. Yeah, nicely played by that trip. Captain Domination ooh. again could come through for Oh, he didn't get Ghost the revive ball, but the Vexies may tap up in time. No, he will not. No chance. Monkeys, another double for him. The score 110 to 84. Both teams with one hill under their belt. B looks as if it's going to go back over towards Ghost Gaming. Oh, first round, back and forth action, as uh, pretty much everyone expected when we talked about this series. Waiting for the push over so to you, B. So, you know, Ghost Gaming, they're grouped up. We see the four-man set up on top of the B hill, but you see uh, the outline up top. They Rise Station said, we got the man advantage. We know that they're stacked up on B. Let's OE to the home hill, hit, the, hit a home hill setup as soon as we can. But Rise Nation are slow in a transition. They might have to, they might as well probably back up and go back to B. As soon as those players start to move and attack, they have to commit. If not, they'll be going back and forth, and they're giving Ghost Gaming time to react every single rip. And Drix is lingering over towards the C hill. Time is ticking. Sleeper now moves out. This is Drix's opportunity. Avexis to shut down Dezo. Ooh. Sleeper had no idea. A beautifully timed push from Drix. So patient, so coy. And because of that, Rise will claim that prize. And look at the score. They waited to the, to, to the yep. last possible minute. They baited out and the it, rotation perfectly. And they got the kills that was needed, but it could have went sideways, but it didn't. It was a well-executed push by Rise Nation. Have hold. They have to defend on a home hill push. It's going to be 2v2. Drix and Detox, and Detox gets one. Gets the flank on the next, and Rise Nation will put up round number one. And that was just great awareness from Detox, recognizing how he could take that fight, knowing he had time, had support of a teammate there. But a very, very well fought round number one. Almost goes uh, four minutes, 3.45 to be exact. And as you said, Rise Nation come out on top. All right, let's see. What does Ghost Gaming want to put down on a weapon placement? My guess is going to be an M-Bar, maybe at Pistons or Marxist for Sleefer. That's also uh, the other big one. On the flip end, there are multiple members of Rise Nation. You got Jerpy, you got Drix, who are very talented with those secondary weapons, and they're probably expecting Ghost Gaming to put that down. But it's a reason why Ghost Gaming prioritizes those dual weapons, and we're going to see during this round what type of impact Sleeper can make with that. You hope it's a big one. That's for sure if you're a Ghost Gaming fan. Yeah. There's a quick glance at the overhead map, the setup. Traditional one, what you would expect. 
here on Foundation. Well, speaking of Sleeper, here's a quick glance at his perspective. A couple of players in his sights, but it's Identives that draws first blood in this round as the trades continue to come through. 3v3 momentarily powers with the double. Identives drops and Sleeper, he's left scrambling away with his tail between his legs. And he's running and powers his chase, and Sleeper knows it. Wanted to connect, but good teamwork by Rise Nation, and that's great pressure. Drix called out the Sleeper was weak. Powers in that confidence, that's what you want out of one of your main slayers to be aggressive and make the plays and close out these rounds. Jerby, what can he do? He has a player down, but he falls as well. It may, it's looking like Ghost Gaming may survive this round. Yeah, look, that's it. Rise could have honestly just gone for the throat there, but he didn't. Stepped off the gas pedal, and it has given Ghost Gaming a potential chance, but they still need to go big. Avexis is there. And Powers. And that a formidable duo. They sit in the home hill. They cap it. Trip cap domination. A much quicker round number two there, guy. All right, let's see. What is going to be Ghost Gaming's next placement? It's going to be a big power weapon. It's going to be somewhere maybe mid-map, maybe at Pistons. If they do something at B, Sleeper can watch it. He can be super annoying where the, the teams go for a quick pick. They can uh, make something happen. But Ghost Gaming is used to that big chaotic fight in the middle between open and close, leaving Sleeper in a 1v1 position at Pistons. He can hold off on his own. They can hold off a 1v1 at Statue. So I'm curious to see what both teams are going to do, but we should see a 1-3-1 setup coming out of Spawn. Boom shot placed on the map from Ghost. Down 2-0. We'll see the effect this is going to have. Almost exactly as you called it, Guy. The fight now underway. Powers, he opened up last round with three. What can he do? Well, there's number one. Chaos and goes retreats. down. Avexis, he's managed to pick up Boom as well. A big advantage already in this round to Rise Nation. I'm curious on how Ghost Gaming is going to react. Rise Nation bringing that boom shot to top tables, looking to be aggressive on the home hills. That's where they're slowly pushing to. Power staying alive, waiting for the pinch to come from the high side. So far, so good. Can he make something happen? Takes a lot of damage, but once again, just getting close to his teammates. Yeah, trying to, trying to. And Avexis, of course, had that boom. Want to fire it when Power's just rotating towards him. Instead, managed to get a couple kills. So nicely played from him and Rise for the two to one hill advantage. This is where things get crazy. What Ghost Gaming is going to do is try to control both secondaries, control two Marxes in the mid game, and take their opponent's side of the map. It's Sleeper and Dez and I working together, and Sleeper falls. I think Dez will win for the home heal. Uh, I don't see the A-Hill being decapped. Rise Nation looking good so far, but there's Dezo. He's in enemy territory. Looking to get that decap and extend the round for Ghost Gaming. But his powers is going to be between them. He's able to find one before falling. Now it's Dezo's turn Ooh. again. Just trying to force the gunfight. Head down straight up. It's Ward's Drix, and well, actually finds the pick as well. Dezo, wonderful little play from him. But when you look at the score, 65-28. The home hill should be capped up once again. And you look for Ghost Gaming to reclaim theirs. So we're about to enter phase two of this round, and we're starting to see Rise Nation come in for a pinch to possibly end this one. New power weapon to be up in about oh, 30, 40 seconds. Chaos, he's gone right behind two players, the and question, they don't know. But the question is, will he be quick enough? Oh, oh has to back away. He's made a switch decision, but was it the best decision? Yes, it was. Just barely. And now all of a sudden, the attention right over towards Chaos in the A Hill. Smart decision not to take the fight. Manages to get to the hill just in the nick of time, but he will lose the fight. Doesn't trade out his life either. B has been decapped, though. Rise Nation in the driving seat here in round three. Hey, look at, they got two hills. Ghost Gaming aren't getting any points. They're about to pick up on two secondaries, but new boom shot went in favor of Rise Nation. They're going to have to make good use of this boom. Avexi's has it in hand, but he needs to be careful. He gets one. He needs to reset, but it's Destiny. He gets a double, and Avexi's cleans it up. 3v3 situation. Only the B Hill in favor of Ghost Game. And at this point, if you're Rise Nation, you can just play a little slower, right? Force Ghost Gaming to come to you. You can set up. You don't have to do anything crazy. The lead is a big one. Over 100 points as, once again, Rise Nation put in pressure on B. You want to end this one in style and trip cap domination. Drix goes down. He's picked up by Avexis. B again being capped. Doesn't matter though. CD capped. But when it comes to just being outclassed, Ghost Gaming, you're going to need to do a little bit better. I'm going to be honest with you here, Blaze. Thought this was going to be a, maybe a little closer. So far, Rise looking very comfortable indeed. So far in the first three rounds, it, it has been Rise Nation controlling this one. Ghost Gaming just needs to find their flow, and they'll get into their flow sooner or later. Three rounds in a row for Rise Nation starting to pull away. You see how intense they came into this game, and now momentum in their favor. The team getting hype on the right side of the main stage.
But Ghost Gaming, don't count them out just yet. Because we know when these boys are, are, uh, are playing together, when they're in sync, they're very, very difficult to get out of. Problem is, you don't want to build yourself too big of a hole. 3-0, okay. You go to win maybe two. Best case scenario now, what, you going to have 4-2 down? So Obviously, best case, you would love 3-3, three, three, but... At this point, let's, let, you know, let, let's focus on a, on, a, on a 3v3 fight in middle. I'm, I'm going to try to figure out where these smokes are landing, where it's not working out for Ghost Gaming. The front spawn, how short he's going to be. Sleeper's going to have that 1v1 towards the side. 1v1 for Monkeys at the Statue versus Detox. It's Sleeper versus Drix on the other end. Chaos goes down. Took a lot of team fire. Of Vex, he picks up on that kill. Dezenai opted not to, he, he's just running away, causing some commotion, but this initial went in favor of Rise Nation. They also have a pair of incidents to work with also. Sleeper from downtown actually connects with that one and has some help. He may have one instant left, but a Vex, he's in cold. They're there to close it out. Yeah, it looked for a moment as if maybe Ghost Gaming could claw their way back in, into this Sleeper round. Sleeper and Detox needed to get on the, my fault, Sleeper and Dezenai needed to get on the same page there. Yeah, they had a Vexies in between them, but they were worried about yep. so much. Just take that fight all of a sudden. Fighting a 2v2, potentially. As it stands, Woo! in hand. Drix will shut down Chaos. And Rise with B and C controlled. They eye the prize of the A hill. And maybe another trip cap domination. There was a presence over towards B momentarily, and you may see that come back. However, Sleeper doing a good job putting pressure over towards A. They get the kills, and they survive. They do survive. So far, Rise Nation, 64 to 3. They look good so far. They're going to have two heals under their control. Ghost Gaming, are, they're playing for a home hill setup currently, and it's looking good for them. But you want to make sure you get, cap your opponent's home hill, even if it's just a, even if you're causing drama over there. But right. what Ghost Gaming is going to do, they're going to drop back with the entire unit. They may group up as a team and try to fight B, but by the time they get together, Ryan Station are already going to be in position. But it looks like Ghost Gaming just loaded down for a second, wait for some teammates off respawn, and they're going to continue on their assault for Ryan Station's home hill. They should be able to keep all players safe and cap this hill up. Now, let's see how good is their defense. Well, the they got is, some incense that's in the yeah. hill as well that they got to dodge. Big, big problem there for Ghost Gaming was that incident. Detox launched it, connected with it, and as simple as that, and they make their way back to the home hill, cap it up. Problem though, Drix has gone all the way around the outside. He's going to put pressure over towards Ghost Gaming's home hill. A wonderfully smart play from Drix. How is Ghost Gaming going to react? Well, they are over towards the C hill, so that's going to be the kept as pressure over towards B. But if these 1v1s are lost here from Ghost, that trip cap could become a reality. Monkeys, though, again, with a big 1v1 win, keeps Ghost alive. Monkey stays in the mix, and that's, that's good for them. Ghost Gaming, where they almost failed at. Typically, when you when you uh, group up as a unit and you try to focus, like right there, when they were trying to get the home hill, they got it, but two of those players in the back line need to simultaneously push the B hill a little bit after, because you know Ghost Gaming are bringing the majority of their resources to their home hill, yep. and you see these guys breaking that fortification that they had on B. You need to also simultaneously take that same opportunity to cause some drama on that hill, cause drama in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the comms of Rise Nation, and, and close out the map, close out the round. Oh. Monkeys. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Vexies. <laughs> he just made Monkey pay right there. And now the score 188 to 105. Ghost Gaming. It's going to be so hard to even get close to Rise Nation's home hill. Should surely be impossible. Powers and Avexi still with kills. Desert tries to keep them alive. Identities with a pick elsewhere, but time is ticking. We gotta get towards the C Hill. Desert so close yet uh -oh, so it's far. Oh, right. that's decap. But what's happening in that B? Uh, Gensif, he went down. Uh oh, hold up. It's not over just yet. At the C Hill, he does uh, go it's, down it's and it's, it's capped up. No, it's, okay, it's, it's over. <laughs> it does get capped up in the end at the home hill, and Rise Nation winning that one v one. They can get four rounds in a row. And honestly, outside of the first round, the last three have been very simple. Very simple. And that's the one thing I'll say about Rise. They're playing right now very disciplined. They're not doing anything flashy. They're not over committing to fights. They're just playing the game they want, they want to play. And it's working out perfectly. Nate or a block to go on statue. On this side, it has been Chaos versus Detox fighting on that area of the map. 1v1 for Grenades. Sleeper, in D, uh, Sleeper versus Drix at the B hill. 
uh, fighting with those Marxists for the Insans in another 1v1 fight. And once again, a 3v3 in the middle for the boom shot should decide the tempo of our next few moments during this round. I want to point out, Vexi's four rounds in, 21 kills, averaging five kills a round so far, having a fantastic map number one. But it's Ghost Gaming, the draw first blood in this round. Identif shuts down Jerpy, but there's an instant reaction from Ryze as it stands a three versus three. Avexis isn't done just yet, finds one more, looking for the <gasps> double. He's done so well to stay alive! Avexis shuts down Dezo and Rise Nation once again in the driver's seat this round. That's Pick up talent. the boom, that's your prize for the play you make. And now Ghost Gaming, they're in trouble. Let's see, can Rise Nation close this one out? He's gonna connect with that boom. Knows he has one more in the chamber. He's gonna slow it down just for a little bit. Knows he has a multi-kill in there. 25. One more. Oh, so close. Chaos finally shuts down. But he put the damage in. And that will surely be the round. Avexi's keeping pace at five kills around. Rise Nation, 5-0 up. Rise Nation looking good. This Looking is, smooth, but it's a marathon. This is perfect. This is exactly what you said, though. You haven't got to see them uh, with their full five, right? Everyone kind of forgot how good this Rise Nation squad was. You get them all chemistry up. And I think your point about the, the coach, obviously, in terms of Keem actually playing for the team and seeing okay. everything from that perspective, that's so, that's so important. Because what happens is that most coaches don't get a chance to actually play with their squad. Yep. King made, started off Gears of War 4, and his, his best placing was third on Ghost Gaming. Oh. Mexico City, season one. Keem is a very talented player, but hey, he made that step back to very coach. Talented coach. And then made, <laughs> made the step back in as players, so you get the inside workings of your team, you know who's late on their comms, on their callouts, where all the big weaknesses are, and yep. you put powers in your position that you just learned how to play, <laughs> at that point, you probably the best coach in the game based off the intel that you got and experience that you got with your boys. Oh, I guess this again with the first blood, and it is on a Vexi, so finally shutting down the star man of the moment, but it doesn't matter because you shut a Vexi's down. There's still four other players, and they just ran through Ghost Sleeper, last man up. And bear in mind the respawn time at its max here in round six. The trip cap comes through. I, I, I'm looking at ribs, I'm looking at Fallout. They said this game was going to be close. They said this was going to be one of the best games of the day. This is the most one-sided game of the day. I said it too when I pulled the pools. I said, hey, this is it. Well, you're all wrong, all of you. <laughs> I was expecting 7-6. I was expecting close game. Rise Nation were like, nah, we got other plans. We got other plans. At least in map one, they definitely do. And this is a ghost gaming map pick as well. So not looking good for them. <laughs> no, it's not. This is on there. They map. didn't have a good foundation to play this map. That's a Three v three fight in the middle. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I was like, "What happened to Ben? Did he die?" <laughs> it was a terrible but It was oh. great. I loved it. Round one of the second half. We're back down to 12 second respawns. Weapons removed, and our hills have flipped. One thing that hasn't changed is uh, Rise Nation off the break. Powers with the double instantly puts Rise in control of the round. Should be good to cap the mid neutral as well. Chaos looking to slow things down as Powers gets his third kill this round. That's going to be Monkeys that falls. Chaos looking to maybe just rotate out of E back over towards his home hill. He's drawing the resources there, and he may have to be able to just overextend the other side. Trick's still in hot pursuit, and Trick's may have been baited because there's three players there from Ghost Gaming. And they will make Trick's pay. Detox trying to stay in his mix, trying to get behind cover. He's going to have to back out. Powers is now in a position to get pinched. He gets cleared out. Good job there by Chaos to lead Rise Nation away from their power positions and to help them break, to uh, force them to break their own setup, bathing them into his own teammates. But the question is next is that what can Ghost Gaming do with this round? I hope they win it. They got a <laughs> so map point. They got a, uh, they got about three kills quickly consecutively. So when that happens, you want to at least get map control and you want to at least make sure you have a clean two hill setup. Currently, they're playing for E, they're playing for F. And they have about three players on this statue side of the map covering the E hill. 
but they need to know when to be defensive and when to be uh, on offensive right. because you want Rise Nation to come out a little bit. You don't want to push into them. Yep. You want to say, hey, come towards, come out of your, your hiding position, come to the statue because we want to land here and piss you up for a little bit, then get into the fight. This position on the stairs is such a key one because when those players push up to the statue, look at, I think that's a Vex. He has that angle. He has that cross on anybody who tries to come. And my fault, that's uh, Ghost Gaming. They have that angle and it's monkeys down there. Has that angle on the stairs. Rise Nation, they recognized it. That's why they backed up. They're, they're trying to, what they, what they just did was go back and forth to each side trying to force Ghost Gaming to break their own setup. That's why Jerby came back. Rise Nation still say, they're gonna have to make a play soon though. Yeah, time's ticking. Great point, 160 to 132. Rise, waiting for yeah, the That's what I was talking about, that time. push. The angle from Monkeys, even though he shouldn't have died there. And the Vexy's, Vexy's got to fight. double, so Rise Nation does get the decap at E, and now Drix just needs to stay alive against Chaos. No, he's gonna get support, he's gonna get support. And the Vexy's with a quick flank. There it is. Drix actually wins the fight, now you have to just fly. You have to rely this on your first teammate off spawn to go to E, that's exactly what they've done, now they're fine F. So smart on the Vexies. He, he decided not to decap that E hill, went to help Drix first. That allowed Drix to get over towards the F hill in time. Drix has to go. Oh, has to go. Almost, but beautiful play. Drix just, just could not make it to detox in time, and he just kind of got held up. But still, Riot's Nation almost came back in that round, and Ghost Gaming almost did not get that one, but Ghost Gaming, they're gonna have to have more composure in this late game. They they actually need a miracle. We saw a 6-2 come back yeah. today already. Hey, if we see the 7-0 come back, I won't be mad at it. Could be could be special. But for Rise Nation now. It needs to happen place. once on land. Okay, we've been this is our it's 15th all, major. All, all season, never seen it. We've casted so many games and we've yep. never seen a never. seven uh a six oh comeback. A six-o yeah. comeback. Never. Oh, this would be a hell of a time to see it. That's for sure. It would be. Yeah. Boom shots middle. <laughs> Rise Nation got what they wanted. That's, that's, what, makes, that's what makes comebacks so tough. We talk about it every time. And we'll see the fight that we saw pretty much every round in the first half, and that's exactly why Rise feels so comfortable. They'll go straight back to what works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Chaos down. Dezo right next to him. As the res that comes through. Jerpy still down. He should be okay to tap up himself. So everyone back on the map. Everyone off spawn. And we'll see that fight continue. Only E has been capped by Ghost. As Chaos goes to the flank on towards Drix. Sleeper there to find the kill. And now the pressure up towards D. Here comes the wave of Rise Nation players. Jerpy connects with one boom, but he gets uh, jumped at the back of the D hill. And now Ghost Gaming controlling their home. They're being super aggressive for Rise Nation's home hill. Now trying to get there before the rest of these players come off respawn, but didn't see Drix. Just getting into position. He picks up a kill as well. And now, Detox. He's okay to hold off his home for now, but both teams are going to shift their focus towards the E-Hill as Statue and give, off on, give up on that home hill assault. Chaos first to the party for Ghost Gaming. Identives just want to fight elsewhere. It's a Vexies that falls. Powers is going to drop here as well. And this is now where if you're Ghost Gaming, you can just collapse if you want. Over towards the F-Hill, really put some pressure. You have full control of the map. You know exactly where the remaining three Rise Nation players are. Detox, of course, on the home hill. And two teammates starting to push. All up five players of Rise Nation are in front of us on our screen. Yep, One just died. Information. This is a big Ghost Gaming round. Look at the damage. Look what Chaos is doing. He's just trying to get in and put out more damage, get into the mix. But they need to finish up these kills. They need somebody to push in there and cut off to the left or something. But what ended up happening is they had pressure taking off that F hill. So Rise Nation pretty much had a free cross up into that old hole. But Sleeper gets caught out of position. Oh, he with finds a double. a double looking for a triple. And he's going to get some help. It was almost looking bad for Ghost Gaming there. But Sleeper clutches up and he makes something out of nothing. Powers is causing a distraction. And Sleeper just has to kind of ignore it. Seat yourself in the home hill. Play for the trip cap domination. It was a one-sided first half. Credit so far, it's been a one-sided second half. Credit to my second round pick, Sleefer. Picked him for a reason. The rest of his teammates was chose to back up. They didn't want to fight. Somewhere in that chaotic engagement on top of Rise Nation's old home hill, they said, you know what? This is too wild. Let's just back up and hold a two-hill setup. But at this level, you want to be able to close that out. You yep. want to be able to keep three Lancers focused on that pile and just get the get the down chain going and close out that round. Keep the pressure up. You, you're down 6-0, so you need to take those advantages when you get them, but 
Uh, Sleefer was left on his lonesome and he made a play. Obviously, he talked about Avexis and his kills. 28, he stands at. Powers, 28 kills as well. Fantastic map one for both of them. Well, you got to find that final round, guy. The final round just to close out map one. Start thinking about map two, and that's the perfect start. Avexis with two, Jerpy with one. Chaos finally able to shut down Avexis, but Drix with another is going to leave Chaos all on his lonesome. How much time can he buy? How long can he stay alive? The answer might just be not long enough. 2v2 fight on a home hill to extend this map. It's going to be a late 3v3 fight. But those booms in the corner, you can't roll back right there, monkeys. You got to keep going for it. But Rise Nation, six rounds in a row. To this map, he's like, don't worry about that last map. We knew it was going to be tough this weekend. We knew we we're playing against the best players in the world. Let's start and pick it up right here on Impact and show them that we deserve to be here. I know that Danny, he's not going to lose composure right now. It's too early in the weekend for him to be down on himself or anything like that. Just get into your own groove and, and improve. Well, let's so. see if Ghost Gaming can do it. Can they get into the groove that we are used to seeing Ghost Gaming in, or will Rise Nation continue to roll here in map number two? We got Ghost Gaming versus Rise Nation on impact. Take it away. <laughs> let's get it. 7-2 was map one. Rise cruised, cruised through. And this no. impact is a Rise Nation map pick as well. I'm curious to see what they got up their sleeves. I haven't seen them play on, on impact in a while, so. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one for me, but Ghost Gaming, they don't get a lot of action on this map in their region. Or against some of the other North American teams. Let's see what they want to bring to the table. They're just going to have to play their hearts out and hit these shots and work as a team and make the proper rotation. That's a good start. A very good start for Ghost. Three players, four players down for Rise Nation. Drix, last man up. He's put himself in a position to really cause some problems and wins his 1v1 against Sleefer. Now can... Just be the safety net his team needs as he waits for his teammates off spawn. Assessing the situation, another 1v1. Of course, at any point if he wanted to, he could try and make a play over towards C, recognizing there is one of uh, Ghost Gaming players coming off spawn, so Drix wants to try and take Ooh. the fight as quickly as he can. Drix Ooh. almost wins the fight. Desenai jammed his gun. Once Drix saw that, he went on the offensive, but could not land the final few shots that he needed to. But Rise Nation, they get back to mid-map control. They control top tables, the B-Hill. They're going to press towards their opponent's side of the map just a little bit more about a B-Hill. But you see at the bottom half, Ghost Gaming making a play down low, trying to go for a home hill setup because they know that majority of Rise Nation members are going to be on the other side of the map. But let's see what type of rotation Rise wants to make to defend this one. They could go for their opponent's home hill or they could regroup on top of their own home. But one thing that's so difficult about Impact is that these home hills are in the open. Right. So you need your teammates there to possibly cap them up. You need teamwork to get on those home hills. Uh, it's more the, the difficult pair to capture when it comes down to our competitive map cycle. And that's a nice play from Jerpy. So patient mid-map, played the information, put some shots down, and then with the assistance of a teammate, collapsed on a free kill. Wise currently up 125 to 121. Two to one hill advantage is well in their favor. So pretty much where we left off map number one, we continue. Wise Nation controlling the pace, dictating everything. All right, goes to start his stack. It's Rise with a slight lead. Ghost can still win off a two cap currently, but they need to spring into action. And they're trying to get this player off their side of the map. But as they try to do that, the entire Rise Nation squad has their Lancers out posted up on a B hill and top tables. And you see how the one player just bounces around, causes commotion, the rest of them putting in damage and Lancer up. You got to finish off that one guy as soon as possible. You can't play around with your food. It seems everything Ghost Gaming is throwing at Rise. Rise have an answer for 191, 165. If Paros can find this final kill, this round should be over. It's Dead Zone. <laughs> of course, Paros can find the kill. What a silly question. What a silly, silly question. Five kills, round one, Powers. It's almost as if Powers and Avexis are in competition with each other. How many kills do you want to get this, this round? Five? All right, bet. I'll get six this round. Uh, uh, you're only going to get four. Well, I got five. I think that's the conversation that they were just having on our screen. It's like, yo, I got three. Well, I got two. What's up? I got you next round. But that's the type of co even friendly competition that you just want on your roster, on your squad. <laughs> if they're my teammates, hell yeah. <laughs> but I, I love it too as well, because if X, he says, hey, this is the position I want. This is my front spine. Powers is back, but we're not changing much. You're going to have to fill in these gaps. Yep. All right? You're going to have to be that player and change your play style and convert to the team. 
And, it, and actually, I think Powers is a better team player than what we saw him in New Orleans and when he first entered I mean, onto the circuit. He's still young, right? He yeah, has a lot to learn. He has a lot to learn, and he's going to grow. And he is just, it is just the beginning of his eSports career. Which is so exciting, considering just the natural world talent he possesses. See where he could be in maybe five years. Woo! Great to think as he finds a sixth, looking for more eSports monkeys. And honestly, when you're feeling this confident, you're going to chase that Woo! kill every day of the week. Not able to win it, though. Hey, he had help, though. There's the assistance and pressure over towards the A hill. Talks That's a 1v1 of, of Vexies, Sleefer. Sleefer lands throughout the enemy territory. Powers is going to spawn soon, but Avexis needs to ask himself, does he want to take this to end this round Nation. for his team? But I think Rise Nation made the decision to come off their opponent's home hill. I see A being <laughs> capped up and going back and forth. So the fight's there, and Sleefer turns up, clutches the 1v1, and he's looking for a second, and he gets it as well. So well played. So well played. And Drix is now the last man alive. And well, you can see exactly where he is right now. May have to make a play. Dezo, Drix. Ghost Gaming just needs to get into the B-Hill as soon as possible. Dezo needs to go over there as well. Tricks delayed for now. Bought his teammates enough time to get over towards C. Neutralize that. Just if Dezo would have got to the B-Hill quicker, they probably could have won that round. Off the trip cap domination, he was a little slow uh, on, what, on what they wanted to do at B, but you need to recognize that you got both home heals cap. You, you guys got three kills. You always go for the trip cap domination because what happens is, is if any player is hiding, they will come they out. Come. They have to come out to one of these hills. They have to decap them and keep their team alive. So when all else is in doubt, just get to the hills. Powers ready and waiting. Drix will open up a push as he finds a kill onto Chaos. The hill shouldn't be a problem here for Rise. Question is, do you want to attack it straight off the rip? Say it shouldn't be a problem, but Identus has got himself a double mid map. Powers being sneaky. Ghost Gaming looking to end this one. He has his teammate Drix there, but he sees this player. Dezo saw him, but couldn't connect with a shot there. What you gonna do, Powers? Has to make the play. <laughs> Makes the play. And Sleeper above him. It's He's just like a train just running at you. Fortunately for Powers, he will fall. Sleeper with the pick. 172-101. Ghost finally. This looks like looking, a ghost round. Looking like they're in control of the round. But still, you never know. It's not over until it's over. Detox could make a play over towards B. So there's plenty of Ghost Gaming resources down there, so pretty tough to do so. And as you said, guy, this one should be a Ghost Gaming round. Yeah, they're looking good. They're going to put another one on the board. So, Ghost Gaming, they get what they want. They get the marks on the map to increase the pressure to get to their final form. I feel like every team has a final form when it comes down to certain power weapons on a map. Yep. You know, when it comes down to Ghost Gaming, if you have Marxes in the M bar, I feel like this team is, that's, that's them at their best when those power weapons are down. They know how to properly play around those two. Uh, but it's gonna be a boom shot and Marksa on the map. Riot Nation say, hey, Let's bring this fight down to tail end of the map. And that's actually why I've liked Impact more uh, than when it started at the beginning of the season. Granted, we did change the locations of the home hill and brought them back towards the spawns a little bit more to make it more competitive. But towards the tail end of the map, this ma it starts to play out like Clock Tower in the classic Gears of War days. You're gonna have crosses over the top. The, the big door is what you just saw one player going to. Having players uh, pinch from there and also down towards the tail end. Also, you can pick up that boom shot on cover in that middle lane as well. So it's different angles in which you can approach this fight, which uh, promotes the multiple different uh, strategies from both teams. So it is looking like Rise Nation had the upper hand in this bout. Uh, sneaky, sneaky of Vexies. He was able to catch identives. However, this gaming survived the initial push. Dezzo's going to take boom. Chaos. He was able to shut down Vexies in the intent straight off the rip. Fly over towards the home hill. Go for the trip cap domination. End this round as quickly as you can. Detox, though, almost made it interesting. Ghost with their second round. They're starting to get the momentum. Starting to feel good about it. They get two back to back. And I want to say they, their first lead of the series? Yes. Well, they lost six rounds in a row. Yeah, on the last <laughs> First off of foundation, so they definitely didn't have a lead there. 2-1 right, up. Glance at the stats. Detox, nine kills. A, a good Seven downs, too, as well. Yeah, very good map. 
so All right. plenty to we play, got, though. We got need to mid-map. That's going to end up drawing a player towards that direction because what happens is, is that if one team sends, by, sends somebody pick up nades and your team doesn't, those nades get picked up and thrown over there towards the yeah. bomb shot. Instantly. And that forces players to move up as well. So. There's a quick glance at what's going on in pool B. Things are 5 2 up against Horus. And saw Mazer earlier on in the day. And Express across the Good game. I kind of threw away map number one, but we were definitely both impressed with what we saw. But back to this one Identus with Boom, Dazzo with a couple of kills. Good initial bad ghost. And honestly, Ghost Gaming. Might actually be able to go for the trip cap. First player off spawn is going to go over towards A. You have the boom. They should at least be able to find one. Rexy's at that missed. They need to at least get that down. He needs to save that boom for the bait. There is one. Guys, of course, still have the nades. The contest will come through, but it's not surely going to be enough. Identives and Dazzo working together. Trip cap again for Ghost as they start to get a little bit of momentum here, stringing some rounds together. In quick succession, fast rounds as well, and that one just over 60 seconds. Yeah, they never had no opportunity. They didn't have a single opportunity in map number one to catch some momentum, to, to chain together a few rounds. Right. Uh, but now they do. And you see how the dynamic is starting to change on the left side of the main stage. They're starting to get more into this one. Wow, but this is going to be a good test for Rise, too, because I'm, I'm curious to see how Rise is going to play in these situations. We're about to enter a 20 second respawn round. If you die in this one, you may not respawn to help your teammates again. So every player has to value their life. Snipe placed at the top towards cockpit. Only one player of Ghost, Ghost Gaming got their marks up. Riot Nation did not. We'll see if that allows them to quick pick Snipe. Sleefer. Oh, he oh, won his 1v1 against Powers at the top end of the table. That was huge. Boom also has been picked by Identives. Bear that in mind, a big numbers advantage now in this round for Ghost Gaming. So far in the past few rounds when they've had numbers, they really have been able to just dominate and convert those advantages into round wins. Rise Nation are, are just getting They're ran struggling. through currently. They're struggling. They're struggling hard. This is so strange to see after such a dominating map number one. Powers does his best, but not going to be able to contest for much longer. The nades are being launched out. That's going to do some damage. Trip cap domination comes through. Ghost four in a row. They're looking to repay the favor to Rise Nation in map number one. Trying to set up an exciting map three. This is the ghost gaming that we want to see, but they're going to have to close it out. They got the lead now, and it's looking nice, but Riot Nation, they're not out of it just yet. They can chain together two rounds and be down by 4-3. This is a 22-second respawn round. The, uh, the highlight player in the last one was Sleefer. Powers went directly to the snipe, did not choose to pick up Marksa. Sleeper picked up Marksa and still managed to get there in time, get some yep. damage, and win his 1v1 fight on that side of the map, which ultimately led his teammate get in nades and get into that B hill and slowly getting that pinching on Rise Nation to get round number five. Impressive stuff coming in from Sleeper. Start on board this round with Drix from Rise Nation. As does so again with the nades. This time, though, it will be Detox and just to find the opening kill. So, a small advantage here for Ryze. You brought up, of course, the very high respawn delay. 22 seconds. Boom is also in the hands and possession of Ryze Nation. A much better start to this round for Ryze. It's just kind of stopped the momentum heading into the second half. Ooh, Powers is going to fall as well. Two members down of Ryze Nation. 3v3 currently on the map. And with that, boom, that's a 3v2 in favor of Ryze Nation. They grab another player, have the B-Heal under their control. At this point, you want to get the power weapons, take out monkeys, and you don't want to lose another player. You want to just slowly push up and take your opponent out at a spine. They're going to lose right. They're going to lose Ghost Gaming's home hill, so they choose to back up, and I think it's the right play. Rise Nation didn't have enough players on their opponent's side of the map to make something happen, but now Powers is going to hit a full rotation. And yeah, I like this. Let's get into the first-person angle of him. He's going to be trying to watch that window from across. And also, uh, you know, he's going to have... Oh, I've never seen this angle before. If he can get Dezenai to Lancer, or that player down low at the tail end can get him to peek up, then at that point, that's a free home hill of Ghost Gaming. And then these players start panicking a little bit. Vexy's going to have to back away. Baron doesn't connect with the first shot. First one to push. And he got four players. Powers is going to have to hit something eventually. If he doesn't and they just keep backtracking, they're going to lose full map control, and that's basically what's happened here. Drix has he gone gets, all the he, way back to his spawn. He gets better when the numbers are extremely out of his advantage. Well, the numbers, they're not He's going to have to start right clutching now. up now. And now, back to the shotty. 
again, just being forced back over towards his home hill. But but that player in the spawn, who was that? Drix? Drix. Taking yep. on 1v2s? Had to. Oh, that was wide left. Didn't really have a choice. As Power is really not having much success here with the sniper. Hey, it just takes one shot. Well, you only got one left, so let's pray it's this one. Yeah, but he won't have no more to really Bang. build anything off of. Oh, oh that oh. smoke. Or somebody shot him with one bullet I didn't to the right. Knocked him out of sights. Boom, new one. He's been picked up by Detox. Nades controlled by Ghost. However, I believe as Chaos picked up the nades, he did actually just fall. Myers Nation playing this one by the book. Playing it to time. He did hit that shot, though. Did he? Yeah, <laughs> he did. He did get the headshot of Idenas on the last one. About the time he hit something. But we'll see if that one headshot. Because, you know, the, the way I say it is just that when it comes down to getting warmed up with Snipe, you hit one, then things are going good. But that first shot can sometimes be the hardest one. Yeah, it'll take a, it'll take a while. Myers Nation, there was really not much doubt that they were going to win that round. Really controlled from the very beginning. And going up to the half, down four to two. Only best case scenario, considering momentum Ghost Gaming was able to really get in that first half. All right, so folks, going into the second half, our power weapons are wiped off the map. Our respawn timers drop back down to 12 seconds as well. And we will have a new set of heals. But we will still continue to see that big team fight on the tail end of the map because now even though the boom shot's not there, the Hills neutral are. hill has moved to that area of the map. Never know, we may see a boom placed after round number one. We're relatively early, let's wait and see. As it stands, second half underway. Things up on board with Dezo, goes definitely looking a lot better here. And you said this was Rise Nation's pick, right? Yes, it was. Seems a little strange, back to our, our old curse, where it felt like every time a team picked a map, they ended up losing the What is it about that? I don't know. No idea, but a great start there for Dezo. As he finds Jerpy, looking to assist his teammate. Powers is down. Let me go for the revive. You can tap yourself up there. Detox last man up for Rise, and honestly, Rise in a lot of trouble here, right? A lot, a lot of trouble. Slowly start trying to push into this hill. They're gonna be able to pick up one, but I didn't trace that off. Ghost Gaming looking to force the map three and show that they did show up to play on Friday. Cause after that map one, the fans were scared, but now Ghost Gaming starting to find their form. D, the only hill currently controlled by Rise. The score still in Rise's favor. Small lead. Nothing to get too excited about. 20 points, 46 to 30. Does that lead slowly but surely starts to reduce. Chaos mid map. And then maybe try and find an opening here for Ghost. Nine kills to his name, 12 deaths. Uh oh, he got the angle. Not a good enough angle. What can you do? So both these players is going to slow down just a little bit. Now that Chaos has figured out, they might make him a, a, a target. And so Chaos backs up just a little bit to play it safely. And now Rise Nation started to pinch. They see the one down. Jerpy's taking some damage. Ghost Gaming has that cross from the window, but Powers decided, not to, hey, I'm not gonna revive my teammate. I just need to go for the kills to save. That was the best way to save my teammate and not go for that revive. And it worked out. Rise Nation, they get in, they get the kills. That's four down, looking for the last guy. It's gonna be Monkeys. We'll see if he can extend his round for his team, but he should be okay because Rise Nation choosing not to run through all that open space and spawn from the other side of the map just to get the home hill of Ghost Gaming. It's a couple times we've seen him do that. A couple times where they've had a big, big amount of control, a couple of kills, and they're more than happy to just sit back and, and wait. But I'm okay as long as the team always commits to the decision. If they yep. choose to push it in the game, I want to see them push up as a unit in, yep. in the game. If they choose to drop back to a two cap, Has to be the everybody game. as a unit drops drops back into a two cap. And I respect those decisions because that shows that a team has a game plan and they're working together to make it happen. But sometimes things, they, you know, they go wrong, but that's okay. Yeah. Speaking of going wrong, well, the decision could be costly here as Ghost Gaming just went straight over towards their home hill. A very, very close round. 167 to 159. Finally, pressure on the mid neutral hill is going to force Rise to finally push down the stairs. They should be able to reclaim their home hill. That's not the issue. The problem is they have lost the mid neutral, so they're still down two to one hills. Ghost Gaming, around about a 10 point lead as well. 181, 171. The kills coming in down low. It's Chaos with two, looking for one more. Not gonna find it. Jerpy shuts him down. Is there anyone, though, in a position to try and go for the decaps? Mm, I don't know. E-Hill is gonna be decap. 
my F is gonna be decapped, E is not. So that is another Ghost Gaming round win, and they're feeling good about themselves. 5-2. And that's a big round win for the simple reason. As soon as Rai started to put the pressure on, Ghost held their lead. They did not allow them back in, and they closed it out. 5-2. Almost uh, deja vu, really, from what we saw in, in, in game one. Just the, the roles have been reversed. Yeah, they definitely have been reversed. But, you know, Ghost Gaming, they couldn't make the comeback. They didn't have the composure in map number one to do it. We'll see if Rise Nation can stop them before they get to match point and make this more difficult on themselves. But at least they're in the second half with this last, when they do get their last weapon placement, so they can put something down influential uh, to go, to, to, to work on for the rest of the map. It's a block after round one on the tail side of the map. Didn't like how the first half kind of played out. Oh, both teams opted to play for home hills. They say, hey, nothing else is down low that really, really is worth playing for. Let's turn this into a first half initial. First blood, favor of Detox. Dezo falls. Drix follows through. Sleefer also drops. So it's big advantage early for Rise Nation. They run through Ghost Gaming. Monkeys trying to get cute with it. European power is having none of it. Identives trying to just delay, trying to buy time. Drix is cut off as well The spawn. So even if any of the Ghost Gaming players get close to the hill, they're going to be peppered. They're going to be weak. As Rise answer back. Trying to claw their way back into this one. Trying three. to not go to a map three. Let's see what Rise Nation is made out of. Let's see what type of Rise Nation we have this weekend. I mean, if you're going to be a championship caliber team, it's moments like this where you're down, but not fully down. Yeah. That's where your big, big teams can come back and just bring themselves back into a series. And if, and if this is your first time, you know, watching Gears Esports, recently Rise Nation, they have been on a, a streak, winning two Ks, looking better as a roster, and they're definitely one of the favorites to possibly come out and win this tournament. Hey, both these teams are, I will consider them in my top four of reciprocity and optics. So one of these two teams are expected and has a fan base who honestly believes that they can win this event and take down the juggernaut of optic gaming. Rise have come close. Oh, that marks Very. it with monkeys. Shots going down. A couple of players down from both teams. Detox one, Identives the other. As Jerpy trying to land some shots of his own. So far, just the home hill is capped. No presence over towards mid neutral just yet. Jerpy plays on uh, one of our slower sensitivities, but you can see because of he hit shots. That marks that he has patience with it. You can tell it in his uh, shooting pattern as well. All head shots. Good accuracy, focusing on the guy in the back, knowing that he put three shots on him, did not want him to get into the fight anymore. Good control so far by Jerp. Eight shots. Jerpy. Looking to just slow down the Ghost Gaming push. And Ghosts don't really have a massive lead, but they are. And he did exactly it. just that. They didn't push it because he was in that position with that mark, so, and they felt the damage, and they felt the pressure from Jerpy. Now, he can hold off this area of the map by himself if he wants to. Rise Nation, if you look at the overhead map to see how they're starting to set up, you see four players on the e hill. They may push through the middle. If they choose to push through the middle, one beauty about that is that they can opt to go to the top side of the map and get the home hill or go down low on tail. And they have to force Ghost Gaming to make the decision. But you don't want to hang out in the middle too much because you see Monkey's walking back to get marks of ammo and he's going to position himself back in the window and back at this high side uh, position. And he's going to rain terror over Rise Nation. Let's see what can they do to get another heal and get back into this round. He's so, so annoying. It's finally been neutral. Capped up by Rise. And that 30-point advantage will start to diminish. Or will it? Hales pushing forward. Trying to go for the D-cap. Jerpy trying to land some shots. D untouched. Jerpy looking back down towards the map. Needs to be careful he doesn't get pushed to his side, though. Has a quick glance. Spots Chaos scrambling away. Rise Nation about to type this game. Rise Nation looking to make a, a unified push to the home hill of Ghost Gaming. They do have one player in spawn. You see that red outline. He's about to get pushed on that side. But the rest of the members of Rise Nation are about to cause some drama on the F hill. Powers needs to slow it down just a little bit. He's, he's looking for help. He's trying to bait out monkeys on that side of the map while Rise Nation pushes the home hill on this one. The simultaneous push is looking like it's coming, but Drix had no help on that end. And it looks like Rise Nation split up too much. They need to move forward a little bit. Drix is trying to start that assault, and he picks up two. 
Where's his help on a third? Lexi's went down. Sleeper draws. Oh, goes. Oh. Rise gets it in the final moments. He looked good. I think they recognized, Five, four. They, recognized they could just comfortably win with the two to one. They were going to take the lead. They didn't need to do anything. They started backing away. There was a moment where you thought Ghost might just run through them. But Avexi slows down the push himself. Rise again, gaining some momentum. 5-4, still advantage Ghost Gaming. Let's see what Rise Nation wants to put down so far. The previous round was a little scary for me just because, you know, when you back up, as you back up, you want to bait some players into some traps a little bit. You want to make sure you're calling out for your teammates. You want help to come. It just, we've seen so many teams lose composure in the last final <laughs> seconds of rounds like that because uh, they get, could get confused on who they want to help and what area they want to focus that's, on. That's when clean, clear communication is the most important thing. And the point you made uh, earlier on, Guy, in our first series, listening. Yeah. You have to listen. <laughs> it's so you important. To listen to what your in-game leader is. Some players think that they listen and they're just, they're just they're talking not. on top of talking. In one ear, out the other. Yeah. Sometimes what you, you get, but here in this one. And that causes right. panic within some players on teams. Oh, absolutely. It causes stress, too. Oh, a lot of stress. Because if you got one player just yelling out something, but he's not yelling out anything important, it he's just, just yelling, it sounds just chaotic. Yell. It sounds yeah. chaotic. Yeah, it does. It makes people panic, that's for sure. It's the E-Hill. Looks as if early on it is going to go to Rice Nation as they look to try and mount a bit of a comeback here. So two rounds in a row for Rice. They went into the half 4-2 down. They lose the first round of the second half, down 5-2. Uh, making it work here in the last couple of rounds as the trade back and forth come through. Still Rise looking to defend the mid neutral hill. Four, three members of Ghost Gaming trying to find the right angle to get to this E hill, but it's guarded by Trix and Detox. They're going to have a little bit more help as well. Identus goes down, and now Rise Nation looking for a man advantage. And they're going to have it. But between both teams having excellent marks of players and long range players on their teams, it's hard for both teams to just push up yep. and play for that trip cap domination. Because you're basically dead by the time you get there. And with those home hills being so open and on the second half, so close to the secondary weapons, it's almost just smart to play for the two cap. Yep. You don't want to rush too much and fall into uh, the opposing team's trap. And you see the respect coming out of both teams, both yep. rosters. I know. Just like you said, now it just comes down to rotating, making sure you have numbers. Think, and really think about thinking. it. You got Monkeys and Sleefer, and then you got Drix and Jerpy. You know, four of the best support players in the game, four of the best secondary uh, weapon players in the game, rather if it's Marks or Retro Lancer, Boltock, Hammer Burst. They make huge impacts for their, for their squads with those weapons, and it typically slows the game down when it gets in any of those hands. Look, Vexy's picking up a headshot across map, looking for a second, one bullet away. Couldn't control that last shot on the recoil. It's something which is important to say, it might always show in terms of the scoreboard, but the damage you're putting down, slowing down pushes, allowing your teammates to get you know, easier kills. Big, big effect, and Rise with a massive lead here. 173 to 130, what, 135? You can win off one. You can just park the bus if need be. We've seen Rise feel comfortable doing it. Oh, here comes the push from Ghost Gaming. You have probably one attempt at this. Avexi's waiting for his teammates to come off spawn. It was Dezo in a 3v1. He made it work somehow. An in flight ghost gaming oh. trip cap. They only had one chance. And they made it work. Ghost. Vamos getting me. a match point. Looking to force a map three on Old Town. When it comes down to Old Town, that's Rise Nation's go-to map. If they had to play a map for their tournament life, that was the one any given time, it's going to be Old Town. They will bet their bank accounts on it. And that's, the, and then that's what you want, because you're trying to play off the game in this weekend. <laughs> and you better be ready to bet your bank account against that squad. You got to put it all on the line if you want to win that one. You can't hold back at all. I do. This one's not over just yet. This may have the advantage. Need one more round. That was a last round. One Rise are going to kick themselves for. It really felt like they were in control. It wasn't the case. Goes for the final push. Able to secure the trip cap domination. Starting off a ball with Monksies. Trying to land some shots afar. And this has really been what the second half has been about. 
Secondary weapon players as Powers also goes down. That's three. Just Jerpy and Drix alive for Rise. They need to stay alive as well. Otherwise, this is going straight over to that game three. Yeah. 23 points on the board for Rise. They're pushing through the spawn. Currently losing their home hill in the process. Drix trying to overextend this round. It's him versus Monkey. Trying to cut the, the distance between the two. <gasps> Monkey started that fight off with a marks in hand, but managed to get enough distance to swap weapons safely and push on forward. And he gets up there with the rest of his team. <laughs> He's just so annoying Ooh. to deal with. <laughs> just pushing up, landing shots, landing damage. He will be decapped though, so rise again. Stay alive. This time it's powers and detox. Oh. Detox drops. Drick straight off spawn. Powers meanwhile on the other side of the map. 2v2. Just being a nuisance. And Drix is just going to go straight to powers. At this point, you have to make E your home hill. You just got to stay alive. Yeah, you don't want to. You want to wait till you at least have one more player to get your home hill back. And you saw Jerby just playing it slow because he knew somebody was in the area. He knows that uh, it was most likely monkeys and he had the marks in hand. Goes gaming trying to get to E, but it's Drix and the Vexies to try to hold off this. Drix and powers to hold off this push. 3v3. The Lancer's out for Rise Nation. Damage has been put on, but he's decapped. Identive's still there. He should be good to actually cap it, you know. Identive has gone down, but there's the cap. Two to one advantage in favor of Ghosts. Rise Nation looking at maybe pushing forward. Identive going to get up and having down this, again. Having a smoke late in this fight is key. He's going to stun the powers there, but now he's going to back off. Rise has an extra smoke. Also, I believe that they're about to bring to this fight. Both teams slowly start to push up. Get more map control. Very, very close round. 117 to 101. The fight now starting to develop. Good bait and switch. Picked up by Detox. It's Dezo with the double. Detox does connect with the Intent. That's the first one. Could potentially find one more. Identives could be in a spot of bother, but no, he's wow. not. The double for Identives. Jerpy, last man up. You've got to at least buy five, six seconds for your teammates to get there. He wants to be aggressive. He wants to push forward. There's a flank coming through as Woo. well. He's going to have to worry about, but you done enough. Oh, the yes, he has. There's two. You've got to be fast, though. De decapped. Yeah, Monkey's going Be back. Bear in mind now, you have to leave that hill and you have to push through. 175, 132. You lose this round, you're going to a game three. Ghost recognize it. If you rise, this is your push. Ghost was successful in their last push last round. Can rise replicate. It comes, they need to decap this hill. They need to find a kill, but that last minute name, Monkey's held on to it, saved it for the push at the end and secured a round. Pressure coming from spawn, but Powers falls. And you're gonna see Ghost Gaming force the map number three, and they put the pressure on Rise. It was a much better performance from Ghost Gaming. Your region right now, and the largest, most passionate fan base in Gears of War. It is Latin America and Mexico. Can they do it? Puerto Rico, of course, represented it as well. Or will Rise Nation, the team with so much energy, be able to pick up that energy and take map number three? Last, last map, map three, to determine the winner of this one. Ghost Gaming versus Rise Nation. Don't get me wrong, I was excited for Old Town, but damn. Yeah, th th I'll take that as well. You'll I'll take, take that for yeah, game I three. I, I, think, I think we're gonna have a pretty, uh, pretty exciting game three finale here. For obviously, you talk about what are both these two teams playing for. I mean, you go 3-0 in your pool, number one seed. You can avoid some pretty big hitters when it comes to that winner's bracket. Second seed, of course, you have to play the number one seed. Dita, I think this is going to be Jerpy and Spawn. He's going to get pushed out. So in the beginning of this one, Ghost Gaming actually chose not to go to that B hill very much. They made the decision to go for the home hills, and it worked out. Push it towards the pumping station at the side of the map. Worked out very well. All the kills, and now potentially even a trip cap. You know, the first player on Swarm go to B. It comes down to Jerpy trying to make the play at C, that which was he quick. won't do. That was quick. Goes game in with a lot of momentum. 53 seconds, all it took. Rise Nation needs to be smart about this one. I don't think you go for a big power weapon along no? the center line. Nah, you go for the duels in truck. You put whatever you want in that truck or you block the truck. It's, either, it's, it's one or the two because if not, Kills Gaming is going to put some focus there on that side of the map. Unless Rise Nation, that does not bother them. As long as they don't mind the marks or the retros or the hammer bursts or the Botox there, as long as they are okay with all those weapons, then by all means, 
go for the pit placement or something at pumping station. And But Rise Nation is showing that they want that big team fight that we always see so much yep. in the pit. They want to throw those smokes, get loose, and we'll see the best team come out on top. No kills for Rise Nation in round number one. Every kill, six, went to Ghost Gaming. You Joking take, you, you take the way that they lost that last map versus the way that this one started. Right. Ghost Gaming has audible momentum in their oh, favor. Absolutely. Completely agree. Now they're fighting for Boone. Down low. In flies Rise Nation. It's Sleeper with the first pick. Chaos looking to maybe add a little bit of salt to the wound there. Give them a two-man advantage. Is going to happen? Or is it? Work by Chaos. Down. The kill comes through. And this looks like a very different Ghost game. Chaos did a great job navigating in the really dead center of all the chaos in the middle of that fight. Defending a boom shot, getting some kills, pulling out his Lancer, putting out damage. And he is the reason in which Ghost Gaming is probably going to win this round right off the bat. Okay, with the boom as well, which you see Monkeys put to use. He finds Detox Chaos there with the Vexies and Rise Nation in a whole different world of pain. Powers just can't get anything going. This Chaos has his seventh kill. Should be able to find number eight. They look it clean. Just need Trapped someone to catch them in neutral. The problem is no one had died, so there was so, no one able to actually go all the way back because everyone from Rise was just <laughs> dying before your eyes. Ghosts are blitzing through Rise Nation. What he said. What he said. They have one kill. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Hey, they're going to have to keep that same intensity up because Rise Nation was talking that talk in map number one, and we watched them. Yeah. You got to be ready right. to get it in return if you don't close out those maps. Yeah, well, especially map number two. Nades placed. Pretty traditional damn setup so far. As I said, Drix the only player on Rise with a kill. Jerpy with a down. And Chaos with nine. Okay. Nine in two rounds. I said that those dual spawns had to be prioritized. They did not go for it that time. They went for the nades in mid map. So, boom and nades there. Chaos was very influential in the last round. Powers is going to have to step it up for Rise Nation and make some plays on his boom shot. They just can't get any kills. They just can't get any kills whatsoever. Of hot identives right now with all of the momentum. Ghost Gaming with all of the momentum. Find four kills off the break. Drix, last man alive. He's gonna have to try and make a sneaky play. He has Dezo isolated for the 1v1. This, to keep Rise in the game, has just the right amount of time. Decaps, now has to try and win the fight. Te toying and teasing with his opposition. He's done a wonderful job so far, but it wasn't enough. Finally, Jerpy with a kill on the other side. He actually finds himself two. And Rise Nation can, can breathe. They're still in round three. Good job to both those players recognizing that they had to get in that hill at first. I thought they were going to try to take shelter in the back of the truck, and they would have lost the round because it was never fully decapped. But they got it. And now Rise Nation starting to group up and make a play on this B hill. What I would like for them to do is stack the platform very heavily and push towards the home hill of Ghost Gaming. Look how close and tightly compact they're on a B hill. You just need to make a push on the other side of the map. You right. got Boom Shot and Naze down there. So you just need to be in position to make sure you can block off those power weapons. Oh, but Rise, they committed to the B push. They want to get here. What can happen too as well, if Ghost Gaming starts picking up these kills or even if they died a bit, they still can have the transition over there towards that B hill, over there towards the pit side of the map. But now, let's see. Here we go, Powers, he gets in, he gets one. Oh, he's looking for a second one. Getting two, Jerpy finds one as well. Well, Ghost Gaming in the driver's seat, as you can tell by the score, 130 to 59. Perfect time to go to a Ghost Gaming, listening. <laughs> Ah, 
Cuando estábamos haciendo trica pasó una mamada y después de ahí con esta fue otra mamada. Hay que controlarnos estos momentos. Wey, y es que, solamente... wey, yo digo que tenían que haber seguido llegando a B. Porque bien, estaba papi, los ¿no? estamos haciendo no, cagada. Eso, eh, eso, eh, eso. No, escúchame, escúchame. Yo he indicado, te hagas tanto de B porque yo yo te di y teníamos ah, aquí el este lado. Aquí. No, pero es que ellos también pusieron, tiraron aquellos. Pero es que, güey, si la aguantan ahí, yo ya tenía boom. Yo me salí, si me cubren atrás, la aguantamos. Pero todo bien, vamos, güey. Es todo, vamos, vamos. Ponle marcha, sí, exacto, güey. Todo positivo, desde ahorita, güey. Hay que subirlo todo, güey. Vamos, güey, lo voy a jugar más seguro. Lo voy a jugar que es mejor. Todo bien, todo bien, papi. Estamos unas vergas, güey. Literal están cagados, cabrón. Ven esos jetas, güey. Guy, you don't even have to speak Spanish to really see the effect that Identus has on the team. A little bit of an argument starts to break out, and Identus is like, "Hey, no, 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 no." We back we, in the game. We were thinking the same yeah. thing. That's how I was like, I was like, I take the listen. He was like, "No, I got it." We had the same thought because I heard Identus in the background saying, "Hey, guys, relax. Yep. Do not lose composure. Pretty much, yep. stay aggressive, push through. Don't let nobody get behind them without calling out to, to protect that boom shot there." So let's see where the adjustments can go. Gaming mate, they get the boom shot. Suicide by Identus. One more could be on the ground, but so far, Rise Nation wins that initial. Oh, Major Gaming glitched through Horus Esports 2-0 for them. That puts them at 1-1 one one in their pool for the day. But back to this one, Rise Nation win the last round, keeping things close here on them. 2-1 to one the score. As of yet, no hills capped, but Rise will spring it to life over towards B. And there was a player over towards A, as Ghost will now cap their own home hill. So 2-1 to one hill advantage in favor of Rise. Okay. So, uh... Rise Nation, I, they, I do believe Jerpy has still one boom shot on his back. Rise Nation set up in a two hill. In a two hill setup. Oh, Ghost King, and they're pushing towards the back end of the map. They're trying to get through the spawn. We saw what they did on round number one. They didn't hesitate getting super aggressive and sitting in their opponent's spawn, causing commotion on their side of the map, right. forcing them backwards. Now, Jerpy just needs to make a decision. He's going to relax and hang out on B with that boom shot and make sure nobody takes it or he can get aggressive on his end and says, hey, you know what? You want to flip the map? I can flip it towards C, but I think he made the right play and keep it composure at B. Let's see what he can do with that boom oh, shot for Rise Nation. Ghost, they capped up from Rise's home hill and they've collapsed in towards B. It's going to cause a pandemonium over towards that hill and the decap's going to come through. Now you just need to send resources over towards A. And Monus goes gaming, they played this one damn near perfectly and they will get a trip cap as a reward. Really, really well played from Ghost. Goes doing so well there, bouncing back after that last round and keeping their momentum in their favor. Now, Rise Nation, they had a fantastic map number one, a fantastic start to the series, but they got to close it out. They need, they need to win one of these next two rounds, 100%. Oh, yeah. You're entering 20 and 22 second respawn rounds. I think it has to be this one. It, it does. I really think it does. So we'll see the hammer burst down now as well. And Vexy started off hot, he got the double. Chaos was so influential as well two rounds ago. Let's see. Who do you want to be on board with Count this round? Okay, Detox. He hasn't got a kill yet. Hasn't Ooh. got a kill yet in four rounds. And I want to see why. What is going wrong? And what could maybe he try Good and change? Good call out, bitch. Because he already seems to make his way over towards platform. He's died 10 times. And only has one down to his name. Already very heavily tacked up. And you think if he starts heating up, Rise Nation could start firing Ooh. on all cylinders. That's sleep for being a bully on that platform. Boom shot in the favor of uh, Ghost Gaming. They got it. Monkeys got away. He, able, he was able to get a kill and save his life. Jerpy finds one. He's looking to stay annoying. He gets his life back too. Oh, he's on Monkeys. No, recognizing that he has the boom shot. Monkeys just gets away. 2v1. Jerpy does go down. Monkeys back over. Cleans up the kill. Still waiting for the first hill to be capped. It looks like it's going to be the Rise Nation home hill. 
because they backtracked there, simply because they all died, came off spawn. It was almost like a double initial because the fight lasted so long on top of the pit. Nobody was really able to get set up after uh, the dust had settled, but Mage and Smokes going towards that back uh, alley, forces Detox to reposition himself, but still has the marks, so slowly trying to push back in. That b hill not capped, he gets it down. Let's see what can Ryze Nation do after that one, forcing Monkeys to use that boom shot that was his last one. More shots. Going down for Detox. Another down. Identives this time. time. He's trying to crawl to cover, but Sleefer oh, lands some shots of his own. The hill controlled by Rise. Two to one, the advantage. Sure. Sherpa just flies in for a double. Still got one player at the B hill. The whole team's going to work together to clean that one up. I right, see at that point I'm giving it my team. I'm like, here, yeah, like, hey, yo, you get this one. Yeah, this, this this one this one's on me. Here, get get some momentum, get a bit of a confidence boost if necessary. And rise, definitely controlling. Ooh. Round four, or five. Big lead, trip cap coming in as well. Can they complete it? They have a lot of players on a home hill. Desnite slips to B, but a Vex, he's in powers versus Desnite. We'll see how long he can stay alive before he has to regroup back with his teammates. And Ghost Gaming actually survives. Desnite found Detox in transition coming off Ghost Gaming's home hill. That allowed them to kind of stay in this round and get their home hill back. Powers and the Vexies needs to take this 2v2 as soon as possible, but Ghost Gaming being smart, not taking any fights that they do not want. They knew the power weapon was up as well. So they're going to require two boom shots. They're going to secure their home hill, and they're looking to make one push to end this round. And they got that boom for free. No rise resources on that side of the map, so Sleep was going to say thank you very much. Angus has gone down. Great Lancers there coming out of Rise Nation. But they're going to have to be careful of watching their heads because Sleeper has the marks that he's eyeing them. You see him there on the corner supporting his teammates as they break through the beast setup of Rise Nation. I still haven't heard any boom shots be shot just yet. That was just too easy. That was just too easy. He goes gaming, walk through the Rise setup. And Rise now at 180 points. How many people are alive? Well, it's just Jerpy. A couple of players are going to be flying off spawn, but Jerpy has to just dance around and can't dance enough. Chaos fires the boom, connects with the pick. Avexis, you need a moment of brilliance. And you're not going to get it there. Too much to ask. Goes gaming 4 1 up. Man, right? You know, they look good at the beginning of that round. As soon as Ghost Gaming out rotated them for the boom shot, they got the marks off respawn and they had all the power weapons. Ghost Gaming knew exactly what they wanted to do. They pushed out, executed, got the kills, and cleared them out. What's going on, man? What's going on? He says, Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back, baby. You look you good. Miss at, me? You look good at map number one. But what's happening right now, big fella? Powers seven and ten. Really, it's not even individually. It's it's everything. Even as a team here, Rise have just been out class. It's, the, it's these initials, man. I Dennis has been going off for Ghost Gaming in this pit. Smokes come out. The pit's clear. Idenis goes for the quick pick. Rise Nation had a late smoke. Idenis jumps out, but he gets caught. And that's the scary thing about a quick pick. You need to be care careful that, because uh, most of the times your opponent is going to chase you out of that smoke, but you hope that your teammates is covering your back, but nobody was close enough to Idenis. Well, better start. Three dead. On Ghost. Jerby. With the boom as well. Chaos. Might be dead here as well. He isn't careful. Powers shuts him down. Oh, and I like this. Idenis trying to get Powers turn. <laughs> oh, not a player level want to do that too. Hey, Idenis ain't one you want to do it to either though. So he, yeah, he's, he's right. here. Powers just needs to match the energy at this point. All right, well, 4-2 at the half. Rise with a little bit of damage limitation. But lead at that for Ghost Gaming as we go into the second half. Let me get, my, let me get my timer out. Let All me... weapons off the map. Back down to a 12 second respawn on our mid neutral hill, at least we'll flip. Keem getting out coached a little bit in this one, especially that round uh, that, that, five yep. when, when they got out rotated for the boom shot. Yep, a free boom I, I put that on the coach's shoulders right there. You need to be letting, if you let your teammates know that boom shot's coming in 30 seconds, no way they don't make the proper right rotations to, yeah. get, in, to, uh, to get into a position to defend it. Second half underway. Ghost with the advantage when we're getting himself on board with Jerpy, who has had a, a, a lot of moments so far here on down where he's been the only player up and has 
made a play. Just needs a little bit of help now from his teammates. But speaking of his teammates, they're dying. Avexi's down. Detox down already. Oh, good transition. Good job to Jerpy. Get him back to Drix, knowing that he was going to need help soon. He was just getting to the next teammate that was alive. But Identives being a, if he cleans up this kill, oh, I don't think he should be allowed to there. But it was Ghost Gaming with the pressure. It was more players in the mix that we could not see. But Jerpy and Detox go down. I mean, Jerpy and Drix go down. Avexi is in enemy territory, still in, on that boom side of the map fighting. He goes down as well. Now, Detox is making a good rotation at pumping station. And he should probably just be shooting his gun, drawing attention over there in all honesty. And the reason why I say that is because when you know that your teammates are trying to respawn and get to a safe position, it's okay to draw attention to yourself. Hey, come fight me. I'm over here. Right. Throw him away. That's just a little bit of bait, if nothing else. And to be fair, at 2 and 14, he's been pretty big bait in this map number three. And yeah, if he can just turn things around a little bit, maybe it does get a little closer. For me, though, uh, another big round here for Rise Nation. Uh, another must win, in my opinion. He almost makes it out. Where's his teammates? He gets the first kill, but nobody else is close enough to get on the platform. Drix hops up, but he goes down. Detox is probably running too far away. He needs to get there because the Vexy's in code. They're, they're about to start fighting in the pit. That's so Down low. Surely he should fall. It's a 1v2. He has no right to win even one of those fights. Doesn't. Replay is dead. The mid neutral should go back over towards Rise Nation. There's plenty of resources there. Do they have enough to collapse for the trip captain? Doesn't look like it. They could win off two, though. That's, one th right. that's the first thing that we got to notice that Rise Nation can't win off two. Powers is trying to clear, uh, hold off pumping station to make sure that nobody can push too wide for an angle. Powers is trying to get pinched. He recognizes it. He gets the call out. He just runs directly to his teammate. Does not opt to fight. That's a veteran move. You don't have to fight in that situation. Get a higher percentage chance of winning yep. your team fight. A lot of your life. The decision. Problem is, platform now wide open. If Powers is quick. He could actually overextend yeah. himself, and I love this play. Smart call, bit. Pressure over, pressure over towards D, and if he can do it quickly enough, when that fight's going down, he may only have a 1v1. But the problem is, his teammates, they've oh, lost he that got, fight as well. He got to a safe place. Now, Powers is some of the best at mechanical. Uh, uh, at the mechanical skill of just maneuvering his character in these difficult situations. But it's a fight in which he has to actually go in there and clutch up, and he oh, can't no. do it. Ghost Gaming gets to 5-2. I mean, what do you do here if you rise? Because we saw them obviously go for boom shot first round. They lose, they drop it. Is it going to be the same here again? You can't really go for the for the secondaries right away because Ghost Gaming got a lot of terrifying players as now. They could they could want to switch it up in a late game. You heard him. He says, "Hey, X the pit. We're not winning a fight. We're gonna make the, the the power play now, and I respect it. Go for it. Do something different. Mix it up. And, and that's as different as you can get it. Yeah. Make them uncomfortable. <laughs> no, yeah. It so is. now we're about to see which team can can adapt better in this situation." because it, it won't be no power weapons really fighting towards the platform. So if you want to, you can kind of stack, stack more towards the middle of pumping station and put pressure through mid-map and put the pressure on your opponent's home hill if you still do not want to fight on a plat. Now, granted, nobody's going in to fight for the boom, but there's still four players in this area. But since no power weapons out there, you should have a, uh, some more patience than you, than you did in the previous rounds. Seems like it may be a similar result the rounds prior. Two players from Rise already dead. They're only able to take one down with them. Vexi's trying to stay alive. He's going to be cleaned up. Dentist with another pick. And for a moment, Rise were trying to get the trip cap domination. Didn't ever really look too likely, though. Trip cap goes gaming home hill, and he retreated out. Identus almost picked up that kill on Detox, but now Rise Nation needs to put their efforts to get into E Hill. Detox is there. Has support. So E should be decapped. Watching the cross, counting numbers, counting players, getting all the information in the world. E belongs again to Rise Nation. 62 46 after the first few fights. Ooh, three players on platform. And they're in that narrow choke point on the platform as well. Desenai goes down, and Sleeper's gonna chill out, but they don't see Chaos hiding in the cut, and he was able to catch Detox for getting too aggressive trying to push Sleeper, so they even up the odds to the platform fight. If not, stack them back in Ghost Gaming's favor, and Identus did not second-guess that decision. He says, I want it. 
Murphy, though, he's so consistent at moments like that, but Chaos gets the better of him this time. Vexies responds. These players are fighting for inches. They really are. Now it's a 1v2 for Vexies. He's even just over-dedicated or over-committed to that fight a little bit. Powers now left to try and win a fight. He's not able to do so. Sleeper, that's him. He is still controlled by Rise somehow throughout all of that chaos. They still have a 2 to 1 hill lead. They still have about a 30 point advantage. E decapped again. Ghost putting pressure time and time again on platform. Smart by Drix to not get too aggressive on the platform. He opts to go for the angle first. Using that Lancer, working with his teammates, and he has some good shots on those players in the pit. He just needs some other teammates to get some shots in from the right side. He only hit, he has two over there, a Vex season powers. Look at that they need tips. to have their Lancers at Identity. Shouldn't be able to get anything in enemy territory, but it's Ghost Gaming being the aggressors. Look at them make the something bullying. happen. They get one, they get two, they get three. Looking to get up to match point. They look good there for a second on the side of Rise Nation, but Ghost Gaming on the offensive. Ooh. Took him a while to get his Denied. First kill. And there's two from Detox. He's going to stop the trip cap as well, but look at the score. 177, 177. Only one hill currently controlled on the map, but Rise are capping two. There is enough time to win off two, but they need to make sure they cap E. Identives. I don't know. They Has he pulled enough in the late game? They might. Yeah, they should be able to. But they need to hold this heal. They need to be perfect. Has to be perfect. You, you so need far, chunks. You, they can't get the decap. That was a good kill, actually. They need one more. more. He got decap. the decap, though. 200, 197. How oh, that won the e. round. That decap won the round. They needed to be perfect in the heal, but no F spin decap. F spin decap. 208, 207. Rise Nation. They get the it done. Final moment. Listen, listen, Make bro. the play. You guys are still not picking up fucking lane. Bro. You think you, you didn't you have it? Wide, and just in the nick of time, the home hill decapped. I can tell you, Drix is still not happy. Yeah, because he, he knows that his team should not be in a situation. They got a long way to go. They started this series off with a lead and got too comfortable. Yeah. And now they're paying for it. 7-2, 7-4. At our last event in Boston, you can't come out swinging and just take your foot off the gas and start taking some punches and start playing with your opponent. Now you got to finish them off, then especially when you got them down. You want, right? after, yeah. you, after you get the 2-0 result in the series, that's when you want to stand up and make some noise. In front of the scoreboard, chaos, 26 kills, by the way, just 12 deaths for 2.0. KD, wonderful stuff from him. Next round underway, though. And that block down low, how big of an impact is that going to have in the grand scheme of things when we talk about, you know, how game three went? That second Rise Nation turn around, get to 5 4. You said you wanted a round 13, Ben. I'm with you. But Ghost Gaming has something to say about it. They find two looking for detox. Can he take one to the grave? Can he find a safe space? No, he cannot, and he falls also. Jerp has something to say, but he falls on the plat. Four down, all up to Drix, and he's on a home hill with Marks in hand. He gets Chaos down. He That's needs a great to start. He needs to win this 1v1. Did, did, did the revive come through? Yes, it did. But in flies Rise Nation. Drix has done so, Ooh. so well. The Monkeys isn't going to let him survive much longer. That's two for monkeys as well. He's looking oh, free. That's there what the Vexies and Powers needs to stop going for so many one shots in those situations and recognize that hey, an opening is is, is here. Let's let's you know fight a one v two. Let's work together. Let's get the next kill because at that point they just lost individual shotgun fights after Drix right. held off the push. Six, three now to Ghost Gaming. One more round. That's all they need. Eyes Nation looks stumped. I'm really sure what to do. They tried boom in the first half down low. Second half, they don't want to approach it. They go for a block. This now their last weapon placement. This, uh, this side of the bracket in pool C, first in this side of the bracket, plays. No, actually, I want to say, I think second on this side of the bracket plays Optic Gaming in pool A. So that's what these teams are playing for. Okay, who, who, to avoid who, that. <laughs> who, who, who do you want as your first round matchup in the champ bracket, assuming that Optic Gaming comes out number one in pool not, not the team that's won 12 of the last 14 events. I can tell you, I'm trying to avoid that at all costs. What could maybe be the final round is underway. Dezo opens up with a pick, Identives follows through. 5v3, Vexy's there to slow it down though. Makes it a 3v4, Identives also drops, oh, Vexy's so hold. close. 
the teamwork. It was between, I think it was Chaos and whoever else was on that platform worked together. Sleefer brought out those long range weapons and was able to stop a Vexy before they took out their team leader and, and uh, Identives. Rex falls as well. Ghost Gaming could be moments away from closing out this game three. Jerpy Let's see what Riot Station is made out of. I want to see the stand that they're going to make. I mean, I'm going to be honest, so far on down, they've not looked great. You're, you're almost asking an impossible task from what we've seen so far. Just three round wins under their belt, one of which has come in the second half, two in the first. Already Ghost Gaming setting up defensive parameters around the E-Hill. The push is going to come through, but by the time anyone from Rise gets there, they're going to be so, so weak. So here comes Rise Nation. They're going to push it so towards quick. the back pit. He's so fast. Whenever he recognizes he has a chance, he will fly forward. He gets himself a double there, then falls. But he's given his teammates such a big advantage. He's the entry fragger. Yeah. And his teammates know exactly what he's going to do. Yep. They know that he's going to be playing chaotic, especially when they have a lead. So when he goes in there and causes commotion, the other team, the rest of his teammates follow up with pistols, lancers, support weapons, and they clean up the kills. He talks 1v3. Smart to go for that kill because the other two were stunned. Buys his team a little bit more time. Not much time, though. Because now you've got to start winning some of these gunfights. And that's fight Ghost have just backed away. They recognize, hold on a minute, we don't need to take this fight. It's a bit of an unfavorable one. We have a massive lead, 153 to 91, a two to one hill advantage. And it comes down to now Rise. This push. This is the last push of the Rise play. Nation. Do, do they go to round 11? Or do they go to round 12? Actually, it is going to be round 11. Or. Do they end it now? Or does Ghost Gaming end it now? Ghost. Controlling There's that so kill on There's platform the worked pick. out for Rise. There's they have another one down, too. That's be three. Quick. Sleeper. A one-on-one. -on -one. Drix That's wins this. Four. All of a sudden, Rise have a chance. F's going to be decapped. And, and I think Rise goes minute. down on the other end. Oh, you asked what is Rise made of. And they show us in that round there. They do force the round 11. The one round at a time. Composure. Uh, Vic, Vic is like, he looks stressed. <laughs> of course. <laughs> this gear is Boston. True. Now, weapon placement. This is what they've something. been waiting for. They need to play for something big. They said they, they didn't want to play on that side of the map, but you got to probably force a team fight somewhere, but they're going to say, is it nades on platform? I mean, is this something big up top? Is for, for Ghost. Nades on platform is not a bad idea. The reason why is because you keep you stay at the same pace that you have the previous rounds. If not, then you would have had to go fight a big team fight for boom shot now. And you would have had to win two more of those team fights at boom shot. Rise Nation, they have to win every round anyway and play from behind. True. It's smart to keep this round light on the weapon placement because you're so used to it. Yeah, now, and you're winning. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So if Ghost Gaming, they put the boom shot up top, it works out. So it was Ghost Gaming on that weapon placement. But it worked out well for Rise Nation with that, uh, with the nades on the map. So here we go. Trying to underway. Detox opens up with a double. When you need them. Got some momentum in this game. Doesn't look like it does. Dezo and Monksies respond with two of their own. Up pops Powers. He finds one. Powers finds two. Sleeper left, scrambling for his life. He has the marks in hand. He just needs one kill. Pinch is coming through. It's a 1v2. Avexis wins the oh fight. Oh, boy. Trip cap's coming through. Big can Ghost touch the hill in time? Yes, they can. Chaos breaks it. Drix goes down, and Avexis has to back away. Smart. Oh, does he get away? He can't move. He can't move. He can't move. Barely. Wall canceled. <laughs> taking shots. Can't slither away, though. His teammates can't pick up the kill either. Detox needs to be careful on that platform because he's Ghost Gaming's next target. I, I, I will say, Vexy's made the best of a, a pretty bad spot. He drew them so far away that it does actually buy a little bit of time because now what happens is Ghost have to rotate over towards Plat. So, yes, he falls. It's not a good situation, but at least he makes the best of a bad one. Ghost Gaming, they have the feeling of a second chance at life during this round, and that's a powerful feeling. Oh, yeah. Especially with the right team. Powers gets an instant, instant kill on, on uh, Monkeys. It's 20-second respawn rounds as well. 
So Monkey's out for 12 more seconds. Man advantage for Rise Nation. Do they make the most of it? You have to. You have to. You can't let Identus make the play again, and he does just that. Flies forward, shuts down. Detox stays alive. Can he find one more? Jerpy there to shut him down. Drix cleans up the kill. Drix uh -oh. coming in for Rise Nation. I don't know if they make it in time. Yes, they do. Just. Barely on both sides, both D and F now being decapped for Ghost. Monkey's gonna leave D though. Heads but that means that Rise Nation is the only team getting points, and they're capping. Ghost Gaming is capping Rise Nation's home hill, so that'll be broken soon. Oh, Drix got Lancer from three different directions. Jerpy takes a lot of damage from those secondaries. Both of them was not watching the proper areas because it was like right. they got snuck up on them because they was worried about something else. Uh, and this now is where, if you're Rise, you could maybe have one player try and sneak around. Nah, they, they, they have to be aggressive. They have to put the pressure on. I mean, you, they look, can't look fortify. Look at that map. You can't, you can't push through. You don't have a choice. They got to get to the pit area somehow, some way. But it's three players stacked up on the front side of their home hill. And one just got one died with the insane. Detox died inside the oh, truck. Bad. So nobody's close on F. Smokes are about to come out from every end. This is where you want your, your, your entry fragger powers to get through and make something happen. He goes down, quick revive, decap. home hill decap. Rise Station just needs to get their home back. Vexies finds a kill. Ghost Gaming playing from behind, and they're getting the kills, trying to end this one. But Rise is staying alive. Bear in mind the score 183 to 128. Chaos Big is kills. There. And Jerpy, he's been so consistent throughout. Stay Big alive. Kills. Detox is going to be there. The pick comes Big through. Kills. Monkey's still alive. It's a 1v1. Oh. Monkey's goes down. Powers clutches up. And he will secure the home hill. 184. Now he needs to, to push 156. out. You have to just put pressure on You got to just go to Platt. You this need to fight. You over. need to decap Platt. Get on platform. Now. Bring your entire team there. Make that the first objective that Ghost has to get to clutch up this round. Oh, Powers, Make it impossible, and I think with that kill, they did. Yeah, beautiful stuff from Powers. Right place, right time. Didn't take any time to think about what he wanted to do. Knew exactly where he needed to be. Rise Nation, another round in the books. 6-5. Map 1, 7-2. Map 2, 7-4. My man stressed on the screen. But hey. Yo, give me, give Listen, me dude, you got bro, first game three, stacking. round 13. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. it. That's what we need to get this weekend started off, Ben. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm in it. Now, this, I said a big power weapon may go on this side of the map. If the nades go down, something has to go in round 13, by the way. Actually, I take that back. Round 13, Ghosts, if they lose this one, they will 100% put a dropper boom shot boom, back in pit. Boom shot down, boom shot in pit. 100%. It'll be boom shot and pit 100% Absolutely. for the very last round. Has to be. So that's why they're going to put nades up top and say, hey, Rise is going to have to win this round again like they won the last few. We're going to keep and it light. They're going to have to win with their base weapon. And they didn't dominate that round by any means. It came down to essentially a 1v1 on the home hill, which Rise was able to win. You got to watch your head in this one because if that marks, it gets picked up. And, and you see a player going for Ghost Gaming. The crazy part about knowing that you're playing against a player who always picks up the secondary weapon, you don't have to pick up yours. Get to the fight right away. First blood. Be the extra man. Rise Nation needs to slow it down. They get two. Second blood. Uh-oh. Jerpy shuts down Chaos, and now Powers has incense as well. Rise Nation looking to send us the spotted. distance. He's trying to scurry away. Rise Nation needs to keep moving forward as a unit. Want to do it as a team. Something that you brought up earlier on when you make a decision. See, Avexis goes back there. He knows he needs to get that player off of cover, but while he's doing that, Detox needs to be pushing up with him. Avexis has gone down, and honestly, Avexis is dead. That means Detox, maybe a miscommunication comes through. He has to back De away. In my opinion, Detox should have been the one to push there, and, and Avexis should have followed up. Paris has slowed down any potential Ghost Gaming push, though, with the instant kill on Salifa. But it's okay. Now, if you're going to slow it down and give your opponent a second chance at life, Again. you better have every <laughs> secondary weapon. You better have full map, full map control. control Somebody's getting messed at, at power, at, uh, pumping station is powers. He's about to get trapped. Ghost knows he's there. Yeah, powers he's is trying to be a playmaker. That comes up short. Oh, trying oh, to just get away. He, some nerves in, his, in the way he's moving, and he gets picked oh. off. That's in enemy open. territory, he had to be careful. Now his oh, team, I love this. they timed him out they, a little bit more. I love that. Just keep him down first. Tricks is dead as well, so the E hill may go in favor of Ghost as well. Someone has to make a play here for Rise, and it has to maybe be a sneaky one. Force a 1v1 if you can. E's gone. You don't have to worry about that. What you have to worry about is powers coming off respawn. You don't want to take a 4v5 fight. You have to take a 5v5. Also, frag grenades spawn on this side of the map. 
So having control over pumping station works out. Frag grenades are in the hand of Desenide. On the platform, incinerary respawn, but no incineraries are going to be in play. E Hill still under control of Ghost Gaming. The heal in favor of Rise Nation. And Zerpy gets caught out by Marksa and gets outshot by Monkeys. Ghost Gaming looking to end it, Ben. They can push forward. There's the instant on powers. Two players oh, down. Two Tux is down as well. There's a pick. Drix's gonna, it's gonna, he's gonna OE. He got, yeah, he's oh, oh, quick, oh. He's been spotted. He's full red and Drix goes down. And that will be that. Ghost Gaming don't allow a round 13. They take it 7-5. But that was one hell of a series.